haven't tried al pastor pizza? Well, I'm gonna show you how to make it. Start by cooking the carne al pastor. Have your pineapple. Add your pineapple to the meat. Now let's prep our pre-made dough. 15 minutes in the oven at 350 degrees. Add salsa and enjoy. We are celebrating Latin Heritage Month here on Access Daily, and it also happens to be Taco Tuesday. So yeah. joining us now is the amazing TikTok chef, Jenny Martinez, to show us how to make quesadilla tacos. Hi. Welcome, Jenny. Thank now, you. First of all, you're, you're, you're talking straight to my heart because we were talking right before the cameras were rolling. I love me some birria. Oh. And quesadilla, are you basically making like a quesadilla with a birria taco I'm mix? I'm making you the original quesadilla taco. That's right what I'm talking right about. Here. That's what I'm talking about. You have almost 3 million followers yes, on TikTok and your yes. cooking videos. Uh, people just seem to love them all over the world. Wh when did you realize that you were becoming a hit? Oh, my gosh. Well, after my daughter uploaded the birria video for me and it went viral, Yeah. I, I, I got over a million Pico. views overnight. Wow. So as soon as I saw my phone blowing up, I ran to my daughter. I'm like, oh, my gosh, look what you did. So everybody wanted to know how to make a queso taco. We uploaded another video, and that went more viral. So Look thanks to TikTok, I'm here. Look at that. <laughs> awesome. And you even got attention uh, from some celebrity chefs like Gordon Ramsay, huh? Oh, my gosh, huh? yes, yes. So thanks to that, I started getting sponsors. I, I left my job Look thanks to that. that. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay was able to work with me through Bounty, so thank you, thank you so oh, much for everything. that's awesome, Jenny, good for you. Well, like I mentioned earlier, it is Hispanic Heritage Month, and right now you're gonna show me how to make one of your signature yes. Mexican dishes. So what are we making, the quesadilla? So I'm gonna show you how to make the birria first because we need the birria to make the taco, exactly. right? Let's explain right. what birria is to people for those who aren't so familiar. We, if you don't know what birria is, is a beef stew that it's, it's actually, birria is a very, very popular dish in Mexico mm -hmm. that it's actually well-known or used in weddings, quinceañeras, or any right. special event. My my mom was well known in Mexico. In her community, she was well known for making the for video. The I love yes. it. And then also has this juice, like a consomme. Yes, the and, consomme. Oh, that's, and you drip. That's oh, where you so dip good. the taco. You dip, yeah. you you dip and you get in there, you get in there, and it's just, ah, yes, your face. Yes, it's so, so, so good. <laughs> All right. So, uh, let's, how do All we right, do it? So, let's get started. Okay. All right. So, first, you're going to get some water. You're going to get a large pot. You're going to okay. put in the meat. Make sure that you get the meat with the bone in, because that's what's going to give it the, the flavor. flavor. The flavor. So, now you're going to put a whole head of onion, a whole a head of garlic, six bay leaves salt to taste. We're going to cover it and we're going to let it boil for an hour and a half. Okay. Okay, so while this is cooking, we're going to go to the chiles. Okay. We're going to clean these up. We're going to remove all the seeds. We're going to remove all the stems. All right. You're going to boil them for 15 minutes. Once the chiles are nicely hydrated, you're going to transfer them into the, the blender. Okay. You're going to dump all the chili water and then you're going to hydrate it with this one. You're gonna get the, the beef broth. Got it. And this is what, you wanna help me with that? I'm gonna help you with that. Yeah, so add the whole cup. You're gonna add a cup of the beef broth. This is what you remove after you've been cooking the meat for an hour, hour and a half. half. Okay. Now you're gonna add all the spices. This is again the bay leaves, oregano, mm. cumin, more garlic, more it's onion. More garlic and onion. Let's the get the in chicken there. bouillon, which is very important. That's now key. we're gonna blend it. Okay. Now the button is over here, Mario. Okay, okay. <laughs> So okay. now we're gonna remove the sauce and we're gonna transfer it into a pot, okay? okay? And be careful because this is messy, but it's so worth it when you're so making it. So worth it. So now you add your sauce okay. into your pot, and now we're gonna cover it again, and oh. we're gonna cook it for another hour, hour, 20 minutes. This is a process, Jenny. It's a process, but once you start making it, it's gonna be a blitz. Yeah. So now this is the fun part. Yes. I'm gonna show you how to build the, the quesadilla taco. Okay, let's see. Make sure that you get a nice heavy skillet. That's that nice. it's nice and warm, well, because you one. want that cazuela que chille. Yes. That sizzle when you put uh -huh. in the taco. And this is key right here. This is the red gold that my mom calls it. This is the fat that the beef releases. So this is what's gonna give your taco yes. that beautiful red color. Yeah, that's you what see that? All right, be careful. Be careful, I watch think the splashing. Hey, hey yes, All right, so now help me. You're gonna add okay. the Oaxaca cheese. Just right on Just it? Sprinkle it in there. Okay. And then we're gonna get some I love some Oaxaca of, cheese. There you go, that's, that's plenty. Okay. And now we're gonna, you're gonna add some of the meat. Okay. <laughs> Uh, you see, he's such a pro already. Boom. All okay. right. So now the big, the big part. Now you're gonna fold yeah. the taco. You okay. Then sure I fold the taco. Fold it so you can mold it. Okay. There you like go. That? Like that. And then you fat? press it. There Ooh, you go. Like that? Yes. Hey Jenny, is it true that you throw food to the camera? I do. You so want you, a good? You throw like tortillas that? like this. Hey. <laughs> beautiful. Hey, beautiful. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> All right. That's awesome. So now we're going to fry it for two minutes each side. Okay. And now, but look, this is TV, right? So the beauty of this is that, that we have already tacos. You got to put it, you got to put some. Uh, but wait, 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 wait. Oh, no? I have to okay. say, listo. Listo. <laughs> okay, so let me make we're sure. Gonna, uh, more, more, more cilantro. More cilantro. More onion. Okay. I put it right there. there. Can I get in there? You get in there. So wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. What? You're doing it wrong. So now you get the consomme. Oh, yeah. Where's the consomme? The consomme. Where do we believe it? Oh, right here. Oh, there it is. Okay. So now what you want to do yeah, is soak dip. up. You dip. Yeah, you soak you it up. Right you dip right there like that. Because you want those juices. Yes, you get and the juices. And now you take the big now you get. Now you get in there. You get in oh. there. And then let me know what you think. Mmm. <laughs> Oh, that's so good. <laughs> it's so tasty. Yeah, you, you, see, did you, need, you need a napkin. I know. <laughs> Let me just dive in there. It's so, so good. And I'm sure you get a lot of messages on social media. What are the kinds of messages that oh, keep you going? Oh, my gosh. Uh, the ones that really motivate me and just keep on going mm. is... Uh, the little kids, when moms send me a message saying, Jenny, my five-year-old showed me your video. It says, Mom, you got to go follow this lady. And I get all, I also get young ladies that they say, oh, Jenny, you inspired me to get in the kitchen. This is what my mom used to cook. It's so That's traditional and it's so easy. Look, Jenny, I always finish the taco right <laughs> Well, I'm glad you loved it. Thank you thank so you much Jenny. for having me. Big thank you to Jenny Martinez. Be sure to check her out on TikTok. And up next, if you're looking for a new movie, if you're looking for a new movie or TV show to binge, we got you covered with our picks for the fall season.